when I first discovered Caribbean Tales, I went to that 2009 festival in Toronto, and I was absolutely blown away by the films I saw. Films that we never see on our own screens, we never see on our own TV station, we never see on our cinema screens. There were something like 80 Caribbean films at that festival. And I sort of got hold of Francis Anne's vision at that, that festival because I realized we've got to see this stuff. We've got to be able to see our own work. So I started working with Francis Anne. For my sins, here I am now programming the festival. I want to tell you a little bit about the program this year because it's really quite exciting. The premiere of the festival is going to be um, the wonderful Harry Belafonte documentary, Sing Your Song, which is an hour and a half documentary on Harry Belafonte's entire life from, from his roots in the Caribbean and his Jamaican roots and his Martinican roots right through to his, not only his music, but his incredible activism with Martin Luther King. Just a little description of the film. <clears throat> Wonderfully archived and told with a remarkable sense of intimacy, visual style, and musical panache, Susan Rostock's inspiring biographical documentary, Sing Your Song, surveys the life and times of singer activist Harry Belafonte, from his rise to fame as a singer, right through to his career which personifies the American Civil Rights Movement and impacted many other social justice movements. Um, the film opened at the Sundance Festival Documentary Festival last year to great acclaim. So we're delighted to not only bring the film here, but to bring the director, Suzanne Rostock, who has an amazing bio as a documentary filmmaker for the last 30 years, to, to Barbados, to not only present the film, but to do the directing masterclass. Um, documentaries fast becoming a hugely important emerging um, class genre of film. And I think it's time we looked at documentary and how we can document our own lives and events in the Caribbean. So that's our premiere film. We have a number of other feature films. I'm not going to reveal them all because you'll find out about them as we go. But we also are showing the story of Lover's Rock. It won't be a premiere in Barbados, but Menelik Shabazz is a Barbadian UK citizen. Shabazz left Barbados when he was a teenager, went to the UK and made an incredible reputation as a filmmaker, doing some very avant-garde films about black experience in the UK. He's been away from film for 30 years, and he's come back with this documentary called The Story of Lover's Rock, which is a wonderfully funny, it's the sexiest documentary I've ever seen on that genre of music that the sort of the UK film, black community made their own out of reggae and it went around the world. So he's going to be here with that film and we'll have a talk back session with him. We're bringing him back to Barbados for the first time in a long time. There are other feature films. There's um, Chance, which is a wonderful discovery from the Virgin Islands. I've never heard of either the film or the filmmaker, but I love the film. There's Orpailleur, which is an award-winning film which went to Cannes a couple of years ago, two years ago, um, out of French Guyana. A, a very talented director called Martin for that. And there's maybe a world premiere of another film. I'm not going to give them all of it to you. We have some wonderful shorts. Um, talking about the, the incubator in Toronto, um, out of that incubator was one of the filmmakers was a man called Ian Harnerine from Trinidad who works in the United States. And he did a small film following in the encouragement of that incubator called Doubles with Slight Pepper. But that small short film went on to not only get accepted at the Toronto Film Festival, the biggest film festival in the world, I think the first Caribbean short to so do, but it also won the best short of the festival, audience choice. And then it went on just last week to win the Genie Award, which is the equivalent of the Oscars or the BAFTA in Canada. So this small film is coming, we're going to get a chance to see it. There's um, also, a, a, I think, a premiere film from Guyana. I don't think we've ever shown a film from Guyana at the festival. Um, a, a wonderful film called The Seawall by a young filmmaker from Guyana studying in New York called Mason Richards. Um, there's some great animation, both locally, from Lisa Cole, who's sitting right here, and a wonderful short from the UK, uh, Jamaica, called Joyce and Herman, a very funny animation short. Um, what else can I tell you? We're also going to have a, a Barbados screening of Barbados shorts, a number of people, uh, some of, one of whom is already here. I think Alison Saunders will show her short film on Panama. We've got some filmmakers from Bar Barbados showing their short films. And we'll try and program that as a, as a special afternoon, probably on Saturday. So I'm not going to tell you much more. You'll see the schedule of films that are coming out. Um, but just to tell you that the quality is extremely high. They're wonderful films. And I think you all should come and see all of them. Um, I just want to say a word. I think Frances Anne pretty well covered what I was going to say, <laughs> which has always happened because she's very full of enthusiasm for this whole project. But I just want to say a few words about the impact of this festival on the film community, not just in Barbados, but regionally and internationally. The first festival brought a huge amount of journalists here from the US, mostly. 
We brought producers from the South African Broadcasting Corporation. They were so knocked out by what they saw. They came back the next year. Um, filmmakers from Trinidad and Tobago, from Jamaica, from, um, and then we did a symposium with Dr. Terence Farrell, the CEO of Caribbean Media, on global distribution and how important it was to get our film seen in the global market. We had a pitch session, which is the first time a pitch session has been held in the region. It's been copied many times, but it was a session teaching filmmakers how to present their products, how to pitch, you know, the famous elevator pitch. If you get in an elevator with um, Steven Spielberg, you've got an elevator ride in, in order to sell him on your film. So we all, I went to that pitch session and it was really quite interesting. I think Alison Saunders film won, won the pitch session that year, a wonderful film. Uh, this is her script. And uh, that was the first festival. The second festival, Caribbean Tales Worldwide Distribution was created from that festival and became the first and only distribution company that distributes only Caribbean films around the world. 